Kurz the cowardly dog is seen as innocent and fearful, yet doing all he can to protect his owners. He was abandoned as a puppy before Eustace and Muriel took him in. Living in the middle of nowhere, Courage could never really grasp or conceptualize the outside world. He has a limited view of reality, and his fears of the unknown often take the wheel. The theory is that we view the show in Courage's eyes, and the creatures he faces are just exaggerated fears becoming real. The villains are just normal people, yet unknown strangers to Courage. His owners Eustace and Muriel have quite the normal reaction to these people, as if they're just ordinary humans. For instance, that time when a big vulture kidnapped Muriel. It actually just wanted her to babysit her kids while she was out of state, but Courage's exaggerated imagination probably perceived it as such. Or that time when Courage fought a foot monster. It was actually just a foot fungus he was dealing with. Even if it's real or not, it still makes for a good cartoon show with dark elements. A compelling theory is that the existence of Spongebob and Bikini Bottom are a result of radiation from nuclear arms testing. This was performed in the Bikini Atoll in the late 40s and 50s. This was an actual testing site in the US where nuclear weapons were set off, and Bikini Bottom is just underneath the atoll, so that could make sense. Test explosions were even conducted underwater. The show even references these tests with some imagery. There's a lot more going on in the Thomas and Friends kids show. This theory stems all the way back to the books, that supposedly, the series takes place in a totalitarian apocalypse. The island of Sodor is the only safe place in this oppressed dystopia in which steam trains are killed, sold, or scrapped. A place full of steam engines, trains, and cars that seek to please their leader and contribute to society. But freedom is nothing but an illusion. In the Thomas book, Stepney the Bluebell Engine, it shows the eerie illustration of a train being scrapped due to their disobedience. Another train in the book says that their kind isn't safe and their controllers are cruel. The trains must work to exhaustion or move to the scrap heap if they refuse. In the back, you can see a train with its face removed. The sad story of Henry is a book and a segment within the show. Henry refuses to go on the rails because he doesn't want to ruin his new paint job in the rain. His controller then decides to give him a lifelong punishment. He's imprisoned behind bricks inside a bleak, dark tunnel. He's left there forever while others could witness him as they pass by. The trains are always put on the edge of fear by their masters, forced to obey the totalitarian state or else. In Fairly Odd Parents, Timmy Turner has a pair of godparents the husband and wife duo, Cosmo and Wanda. They help him with all of his problems, and they always seem to appear when he's struggling. This theory claims that Timmy suffers from depression and is currently under the medication Zoloft and Prozac. Zoloft can enhance your energy levels and get you excited, like Cosmo. Prozac can make you focus, like Wanda. Timmy's parents seem too busy or clueless to notice the godparents, but perhaps they did put their son on antidepressants. Cosmo and Wanda always come to assist Timmy with his wishes. There's even an episode where he goes to wish rehab for constantly demanding wishes. He was taken to an actual rehab facility to learn how to become more independent. It's an interesting theory though, but I'm not sure if antidepressants make you see fairies and whatnot. That might be a bit of a reach. Up next, we have Phineas and Ferb. Apparently, Candace is considered insane in this theory, and Phineas and Ferb only exist within her mind. This elaborate fantasy is created as a bid to cope with her little brother Phineas' actual tragic death. He dealt with cruel amounts of bullying at school until one day, a physical attack accidentally took his life. The event changed Candace, so she built this fabricated world with her brothers. This may explain why her mom can never catch Phineas and Ferb. There's also evidence in Season 2, Episode 33 where Candace goes into a Wizard of Oz parody with Doof. This assumes that she knows of him and his evil intentions. Although this episode is still considered a dream, who really knows? I feel as if the imagination theories are a bit too played out, and so I take this with a grain of salt. That about wraps it up here. Do you think any of these theories make valid points? Hopefully you found these interesting. Appreciate you watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.